Hello everyone, welcome to our guide on how to level your MarkForge printers. Properly leveling your print bed is important for printing successful parts. Bed leveling should be performed when you are setting up a new printer and regularly while running the printer. Some tools you'll need for this procedure are the leveling shims provided to you in your accessories kit with the printer and a 2.5 millimeter hex key. The topics I will be covering in this video include shim bed leveling, laser bed leveling, bed level test print, and fiber nozzle height adjustment. If you would like to jump around the topics, the timestamps will be included in the description below. First, I will be demonstrating how to perform the shim bed leveling utility. This is applicable for both industrial and desktop series printers. Let's grab our tools and get started. Before starting the shim bed leveling utility, it is important to check that the nozzle is clean. If any plastic material is stuck to the nozzle, it will result in an inaccurate level since the tip of the nozzle is being used as the point of reference for leveling with the shim. If you notice your nozzle needs cleaning, use the manual heating option and a wire brush to clean off the nozzle before starting. To start the bed leveling utility, you'll hit menu, bed level, and hit the shim bed level. Once you read the warning, press next. Now you'll want to loosen each thumb screw until the print bed is at its lowest position. Loosen the thumb screws to its lowest position until the bed doesn't lower anymore. You'll not want to over loosen it or else the spring will pop off. Once the thumb screws, all three of them are at its lowest position, press next. Take the plastic shim and slide it under the plastic nozzle on your print head. Raise your print bed until you feel a slight resistance when sliding the shim. When making adjustments to your print bed, you may sometimes find that you have issues getting enough travel from your thumb screws. If this is the case, please run the adjust the offset before proceeding with the shim bed leveling utility. You can find a video on that as well on our channel. Now it will have you verify the level in the rightmost position. And if the level is good, you can hit next on the front panel. If you would like to cycle through the leveling points again, hit retry. Now taking your fiber shim and a 2.5 millimeter hex key will make adjustments to the fiber nozzle until you feel slight resistance on the fiber shim. To adjust the fiber nozzle, you will turn this hex bolt that is located on top of the print head. And to raise it, you will turn it counterclockwise and to lower it, you'll turn it clockwise. Once you've adjusted your fiber nozzle and you feel slight resistance on the shim, hit next. Now you can check both the fiber nozzle and the plastic nozzle before you continue to the bed level test print. Now I will be demonstrating how to perform the laser bed leveling utility. This is available only for the industrial series printers. This utility uses the laser to measure the distance between the print head and the print bed. Let's get started. To access the laser bed leveling utility, hit menu, bed level, and hit laser bed level. Now you'll adjust the thumb screws so that the arrow moves into the green range and you'll want to do that at all three leveling positions. Now take your plastic shim and slide it underneath the plastic nozzle. Nudge the print bed up or down until you feel slight resistance on the shim. Now taking your fiber shim and a 2.5 millimeter hex key will make adjustments to the fiber nozzle until you feel slight resistance on the fiber shim. To adjust the fiber nozzle, you will turn this hex bolt that is located on top of the print head. 
and to raise it, you will turn it counterclockwise and to lower it, you'll turn it clockwise. Once you've adjusted the fiber nozzle and hit next, please proceed to running the fiber nozzle high calibration utility. After leveling your print bed, a bed level test print must be performed to make sure that the bed was leveled properly. This test print should be performed after every shim bed leveling and is recommended but not required after a laser bed leveling. This test print will print discs on your print bed which will then be evaluated to determine if the print bed was leveled properly. This is important to ensure that the first layer of your part is laid down correctly. To run the bed level test print, to navigate to it, you'll hit Menu, Utilities, Test Prints, and hit the bed level test print. Once the bed level test print is performed, you will want to evaluate the discs that were printed. If the bed was too low, it will come out very stringy, and you will want to adjust and raise your bed. If the bed was too high, the disc will be very flat and sheer. If the bed was well leveled, the disc will be opaque and even. Once you evaluate the test print and the bed is well leveled, press done. Part of the bed leveling procedure is to adjust the fiber nozzle to the correct height to ensure that it will lay down the fibers correctly into your part. During the shim bed leveling and laser bed leveling, you adjusted the fiber using the fiber shim. This is just a coarse adjustment. In order to do the fine adjustment, you will print the fiber nozzle calibration test. This can be performed on both your industrial and desktop series printers and should only be performed after your bed is leveled properly. Have your 2.5 millimeter hex key handy and let's get started. To navigate to the fiber nozzle calibration test print, you'll hit menu, bed level, and adjust fiber nozzle height. To start the test print, hit print staircase. Once the staircase is done printing, hit next. Once you hit next, the fiber nozzle will be swiped over the printed staircase. Then you will evaluate the height of the fiber nozzle. Once the part is swiped with the fiber nozzle, evaluate the marks. The marks should only be marked on 0, 1, and 2 for proper fiber height adjustment. If marks are in the negative numbers, then you will want to raise your fiber nozzle and if there are only marks in the positive values, then you will want to lower your fiber nozzle. Since mine has a mark on the negative one step, I am going to insert my 2.5 millimeter hex key and raise the fiber nozzle. To adjust the fiber nozzle, you will turn this hex bolt that is located on top of the print head. And to raise it, you will turn it counterclockwise and to lower it, you'll turn it clockwise. After a couple adjustments, I have the correct nozzle height. So the markings are on the steps zero, one, and two, which means my fiber nozzle is now at its correct height. You will get three swipes to get your adjustment correctly. If your nozzle was too high, you may be able to hit the retry button to swipe over the same paths to get it to mark the zero step and get your fiber nozzle height correct. If you are done, hit done. If your fiber nozzle was too low, you will most likely need to reprint the staircase and redo the swiping again. Now that your print bed is properly leveled, and your fiber nozzle is adjusted correctly, you can start a print job. For a more detailed guide, visit our knowledge base on our website at saratech.com. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs>